Hey folks, Pastor Arkan here. Just wanted to give you an update. I'm standing right now in the kindergarten through second grade class. And uh, I want you to see the chairs is why I'm standing back like this. These are the new chairs we just purchased and set up uh, the Saturday before uh, the, the mandates came down uh, due to the COVID-19 crisis. I'm heartbroken to think about these chairs being empty tomorrow, along with the rest of our Sunday school department. I'm thinking about our buses as I drove into the parking lot here today. I want you, church, to be praying for our children, pray for our bus ministry, pray for uh, all of the kids that are not being able to come to Sunday school right now, not being able to go to children's church and junior church, and, uh, and be thinking about them some. That's why I wanted to start this video here to just kind of remind you that our church is not just what goes on in that auditorium, but every week we minister to people from the, from the cradle all the way up through the oldest person in the auditorium. And so pray for them. Sunday school teachers, be praying for your kids. I want you to be reaching out to them, still making phone calls, sending cards, reminding them that they are loved and prayed for. Now, church, I wanted to also mention to you now, as we are uh, uh, kind of, this is uh, coming up on Wednesday night, uh, was what I originally told you was going to be our, uh, we'll go through Wednesday night live stream. Well, it does not look like, according to the governor and what things are uh, happening here uh, in the state, uh, that we're going to get back into the buildings uh, anytime soon. And so until further notice, we're just going to keep live streaming. We're going to meet here uh, via live stream. And so I want you to keep praying about that. Uh, we got to stay excited about that. we got to stay committed to assembling together. Of course, this is Saturday, March 28th. We'll be assembling tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Let's remember, go to bed tonight, get up in the morning, get ready, get dressed, and let's have church together there. We're looking at ways we can make these services a little bit more special, do a few things there to kind of add to it. Uh, if you consider Wednesday is April 1st, April 1st, uh, 19 years ago is when Mrs. Arcan and I uh, stood at the back door at 8100 Solly Road in Pasadena, and we had the first service of the Lighthouse Baptist Church. We'll be praying about that. I'm excited. Next Sunday was to be our anniversary Sunday. Of course, we're not going to be able to have a big uh, service here on the property together. We'll try to do some things to make it special. But listen, let's stay excited about these live stream assemblies. Assemble together. I'm proud of you, church. You've done well tuning in, being there, being in your place, giving, doing all that you've done. And I'm going to ask you to keep doing that, keep being faithful. I also want to have you pray even before tomorrow's service. Mrs. Baker was taken to the hospital yesterday by way of ambulance. She's got fluid around the lungs. They're testing her. They're still trying to figure out exactly what it is. And so I want you to be praying for her. No family, no visitors can be with her. She's there just with the Lord and the doctors and nurses. Would you please be praying for Mrs. Baker at this time? I also want you to continue to pray for Brother Ernie Wright. Brother Ernie has been in and out of the doctor's offices all week. And uh, Tuesday, he'll meet with the oncologist to discuss what type of uh, cancer it is, what stage, and what the treatment is going to be. He's already received a port uh, to administer the chemo. They know it's going to be something, some kind of chemo, but pray about that. Pray for Ms. Raymond Lee and Brother Ernie as they have that major appointment on Tuesday. Keep praying for Darlene Gray. Uh, she went in this past Monday uh, for her second treatment, and uh, so pray she stays well. This video is a little bit longer for the update, but I wanted to get those prayer requests out to you. And uh, I love you, church. Tomorrow, 11 a.m., we're going to assemble together. I'm excited about it. Let's do church together. Live stream tomorrow morning. I love you. God bless you.